apparently strawberry shortcake vintage style is making a comeback and i will be honest that some of the stuff that i have been seeing is really really cute and i wanted to do a design inspired by it so for my pinky i'm just doing a simple strawberry pattern with some polka dots to represent strawberry's hat and a great way to draw a strawberry is to just draw a heart because that's the same shape and you could totally do this with a toothpick if you want to the orally dual sided dotting tool that i use in a ton of my videos um, I actually got that in a color pass system and I think the only way you can get the dotting tool is if you buy a, uh, I think it's a, a nail art bundle kit, I believe, off of their website. So next I'm just going to add some green leaves and then I'm going to finish off this nail with doing some white polka dots. I did this all using acrylic paint. So... For the ring finger, I'm going to be drawing Strawberry's house, which is just a pretty big heart. Again, a heart is pretty much the shape of a strawberry. And then I'm just going to be adding some green leaves. And then I'm going to be adding some cute little strawberry flowers. And then while I was waiting for that to dry, I went ahead and I drew in the windows as well as the door of her house. If you wanted to make this more detailed, you totally could. I just wanted to keep this really, really simple and easy. And then I just sharpened up the lines. I sharpened up the lines off camera too. And then I'm just adding the yellow uh, middles of the flowers. So for the middle finger, I wanted to do a strawberry vine. And I'm just taking a green acrylic paint and then I'm going to just draw some leaves as well as a few strawberries. And I also wanted to make sure to include a strawberry uh, flower as well. And then I just connected the uh, hearts to the vines. And then I added a cute little uh, yellow dot to the inside of that flower. For my index finger, I wanted to do just a strawberry. So again, making a... I guess you could say medium sized heart and then just adding the uh, stem as well as the leaves of the strawberry and then I did add some little black seeds and for my thumb I really liked the uh, strawberry vine on a blue nail so I decided to do it with a pink background and I thought it turned out really really cute all the polishes I will be showing at the end of this video and everything will be linked to the description box below, including the acrylic paint that I'm using. Just adding to uh, three little strawberries and then I'm going to be connecting those again to the vine and then adding a flower. And then while I was waiting for everything to dry, I decided to go ahead and show what the uh, polishes that I was using. I use Zoya's Blue and Zoya's Joanny, I think it's called. I'm going to go ahead and top coat. When it comes to acrylic paint, you really want to make sure you add a top coat at the end, including sealing the free edge, just so that whenever you go to put your hands in water, you don't have to worry about the acrylic paint coming off. And as with top coating any design, make sure you float the top coat over and don't let the brush hit the uh, design because that just increases your chance of smearing it. And that is all I did for this really cute vintage strawberry shortcake nail design.